Item number SCP-2132 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Containment Procedure 62 Tank of Foxtrot Standard Containment for a non Structures Non-Urban As followed for SCP-2132-1 Radios tuned to SCP-2132 Deep K Beep are to be stationed at Cardinal Point 16 kilometers from SCP-2132-1 to monitor signal strength and extended listening range. SCP-2132 and its effects have not extended beyond 15.76 kilometers with an average distance of 15 kilometers. In addition, both iterations of SCP-2132 are to be recorded and retransmitted through secure channels to Site-11 for observation. Three members of Mobile Task Force IOTA-19, Homemade Sins, are to remain in constant residence within SCP-2132-1 in order to intercept SCP-2132's game and win. One member is to be cycled out each month, allowing no member to spend more than three months on site. When the game cycle has begun, all three members are to participate and wear standard issue chest mounted cameras soon into their shirt for the duration of the game cycle. Description SCP-2132 is a video station designated Deep K Beep. To all outside of SCP-2132's anomalous range, currently reaching a maximum of 15.76 kilometers. SCP-2132 functions as a number station with a male child voice reciting numbers and a list of colors. These readings occur every five to six hours and are different each time. To date, Foundation code experts have been unable to determine a meaning within the numbers. The voice is hypothesized to be synthesized due to various vocal cues, lack of audible breathing, same tone maintained throughout, etc. Within the anomalous range, SCP-2132 largely functions as a music station, continuously playing songs from the late 1920s to 1950s. SCP-2132-1 is a collective destination given to a farmhouse and radio tower from which SCP-2132 emanates, operating in the countryside of Potawatomi County, Oklahoma. There is a hatch in the ground under the radio tower from which the station is presumed to operate. But as of this writing, the Foundation has been unable to open it through conventional means. Prying, blasting, melting, etc. Digital sounding reveals only a tunnel that descends below the range of the sounding device. The hatch is inscribed with the words, Welcome home, Assad. Every Friday between 1700 and 2000, SCP-2132's anonymous range music will stop and a woman's voice will read this announcement. Welcome to Mr. Marshall Carter and Doc's most dangerous fighting exhibition and obstacle resort. Please adjourn to the lounge for further instructions. The message will repeat until all residents have moved to the living room of SCP-2132-1. Further testing has indicated that should fewer than three people be in residence within SCP-2132-1. SCP-2132 will transport the nearest human being into the lounge and they will be made to participate in the game cycle. This is corroborated by the missing person's files logged by Potawatomi County. Once there, all doors will lock and the following message will play. Welcome to Mr. Marshall Carter and Doc's most dangerous fighting exhibition and obstacle resort. Please enjoy some brandy and cigars while we prepare your playground. After approximately one hour, all doors except for the front will unlock and open. Supplies will materialize within the hall closet located near the exit. These supplies will be the only things other than the clothes 
residents will be able to take into the game cycle. All other foreign objects being materialized upon exit. Soon the chest mounted cameras into their shirts appears to have tricked the game cycle into treating them as clothing. The supplies always contain the first aid kit, one map, one compass, and one thermometer. Once the supplies have been collected, the following message will play. Please step outside and enjoy your playground. Remember, get home safe. The exit then swings open. If the residents do not immediately step out, the words get home safe are continually repeated. Up to 150 decibels over the course of one hour, causing permanent hearing loss. If, after one hour, residents still have not stepped outside, the game cycle will begin prematurely, and an entity will enter the house and forcibly eject them. Entities to date include two mature grizzly bears, a colossal squid, and a guerrilla ambush from an unknown army. Upon crossing the threshold, residents are transported to a new climate containing traps, puzzles, and exaggerated hostile creatures. The only consistency between environments is a large stopwatch-style digital display projected in the sky. SCP-2132-1 disappears, and the goal of the game cycle is to locate it and return inside by the time the stopwatch reaches zero. Both SCP-2132 and SCP-2132-1 were discovered during the raid on the Marshall Carter and Dark Club, where they were advertised in the program as a retreat from the mundane into the fantastic. Testing logs. The set of supplies varies between cycles, but always contains the first aid kit, map, compass, and thermometer. Date. Beep. 19 beep. Involved personnel. Agent Albright. Agent Solomon. Miss Beep. Supplies given. Three snowsuits. Bag of cotton balls. Paintbrush. Matchbook. Safety pin. Two Beretta 9mm handguns. No ammunition. Environment materialized. Arctic tundra. Negative 32 degrees Celsius. Snowing constantly. Outcome. Agent Albright victory with minor bruising. Agent Solomon victory with no injuries. Miss Beep loss. Notes. Agent Albright has been officially commended for her quick thinking and resourcefulness in rescuing Agent Solomon from the creeping ice trap. Miss Beep's body rematerialized on the part post game cycle and her death was reported to Padawatomi County as a wild dog attack. No further questions have been posited. Number of agents guarding up to three. Date. Beep. 19 Beep. Informed personnel. Agent Albright. Agent Campbell. Agent Dupsick. Supplies given. One set of car keys. Pasta strainer. Fishing hook. Con of bluebell ice cream. Vanilla. Toy plane. Fly swatter. Environment materialized. A batting city, similar in appearance to SCP Beep. Outcome. Agent Albright victory with broken leg. Request for replacement agent during recovery granted. Agent Campbell victory with scarring. Agent Dupsic victory with no injuries. Note. Several SCP-like entities manifested in the game cycle as boss fights and traps, notably SCP Beep and SCP Beep. Footage is currently under review to ensure there has not been a containment breach. Footage of fight between Agent Albright and Agent Dupsic currently under conduct review. Date. Beep. 19 Beep. Informed personnel. Agent Dupsic. Agent Pallone. Agent Solomon. Supplies given. 16 ounce can of Heinz baked beans. Egg beater. 2 ounce bottle of ink. Craftsman brand screwdriver. Fork. Environment materialized. Rainforest style jungle. 32 degrees Celsius. Approximately 80% humidity. Outcome. Agent Jusic loss. Agent Palong loss. Agent Solomon loss. Note. First total loss on record. The bodies of Agents 
Dupsic, Pallone and Solomon materialized on the porch post-mortem. All three were naked with chest cameras and footage gone and had the characters, I miss my father, painted on their chests. Date, beep, 20 beep. Involved personnel. Agent Draper, Agent Pittman, Agent Orville. Supplies given, bone saw, 17 cent postage stamp. Letter opener. T. Congoroga, number two pencil. Environment materialized. Midwestern Plains. Initially thought to be a lack of materialization, proved the game cycle in 16 seconds. Outcome. Agent Draper victory with loss of right arm. Transfer request granted. Agent Pittman loss. Agent Orville victory with minor cuts and bruises. Notes. Someone do some research on that last thing we killed. What were the words on its chest? Why so many arms? Agent Orville. The words were, I want to go home. Near as I can pass from the shaky cam. As for the arms, I have no idea. Someone's sense of humor. Agent Draper. Addendum 1 on beep, 20 beep. SCP 2132's number station transmitted the following message in Morse code. I cannot think of anything else. Stop! I am sorry. Stop! You used them all. Stop! Following this, the station, including both the number station and the alternate music station, went silent for six hours. When they restarted, a male child's voice had been replaced with a female child's, and an inscription on the hatch had changed to... Welcome home, Yuki. No other changes were noted.